everyone, I am Elizabeth Ozamara from NR13 and I will demonstrate on how to assess apical radial pulse. So first, in assessing apical radial pulse, you need to assess the patient. You need to consider the following, which are the clinical signs of hypovolemic shock, which are the rapid heartbeat, quick shallow breathing, feeling weak, being tired, confusion or wooziness, little or no pee, low blood pressure, and cool, clammy skin. And next, you need to assemble the equipment needed. The equipment needed are the stethoscope and a second, a second hand watch indicator. And after that, you need to identify yourself and verify the client's identity. Explain to the client what you're going to do, why is it necessary, and how the client can cooperate. So this is my patient. So sir, hello po, I am your nurse for today, Elizabeth Ozamora. May I know your name, sir? I'm Lorenzo Batikolas. Your birthday, sir? December 7, 1969. Then after that, after verifying the client's identity, you need to perform hand hygiene. So I'm using uh, ethyl alcohol 70%. Performing hand hygiene, you also need to observe the other proper infection control procedures. And next, provide for clients' privacy. So next, we need to position the client appropriately in a comfortable supine position or sitting position. Expose the area of the chest over the apex of the heart. So we need to expose the left side part, left side part of the patient's body. Locate the apical and radial pulse sites. Count the apical and radial pulse sites. So we need to locate the radial pulse sites. So the radial pulse sites can be seen on the radial part of the hand or arm. So this is the radial pulse. This is the radial pulse. And this is the apical pulse. Assess the apical pulse for 60 seconds. Using your watch, you can count the pulse of the patient for 60 seconds. First, the apical pulse. After 60 seconds, you can now um, measure the radial pulse of the patient for another 60 seconds. And after that, document the apical radial pulse, rates, rhythm, volume, and any pulse deficit in the client record. Also record your related data. That technique is a one nurse technique. We have also a two-nurse technique if it is um, available. Two-nurse technique, you can place the watch where both nurses can see it. The nurse who is taking the radial pulse may hold the watch. Decide on a time to begin the counting. The nurse taking the radial pulse says start at the time. Each nurse counts the pulse rate for 60 seconds. Both nurses end the count when the nurses taking the radial pulse says stop. The nurse who assesses the apical pulse rate also assesses the apical pulse rhythm and volume. The nurse assessing the radial pulse rate also assesses the radial pulse rhythm and volume. I hope you have learned something from my videos. Thank you for watching. Bye!